Way back in 1987, Professor El Halim was hard at work ironing out his ideas on how to eradicate potholes. Imagine this steel cylinder as a work crew rolling fresh asphalt on the road. Where the cylinder depresses the pavement, cracks form. Halim's breakthrough idea was to spread out the load between two cylinders wrapped in rubber. I believe it is the beginning of the end of potholes. Let me put it this way. But eradicating potholes wouldn't be so easy. 20 years later, CBC caught up with Professor Pavement again. The National Research Council had helped to build a prototype called Amir, named after his son, but then his plans hit a bump in the road. Paving companies weren't lining up to build a machine that might put them out of business. I would say frustrated. I was disappointed. Halim isn't disappointed today. The Ministry of Transportation started listening seriously to his ideas about how to make crack-free asphalt and save taxpayers money. Then the local construction giant Tomlinson became very interested. Their engineers built a working Amir complete with rubber tracks. Last fall, Amir and several traditional rollers went head-to-head -head on this road in Canada. A traditional roller did the left lane, Amir's rubber tracks did the right proving Halim's invention is the runaway winner. Tomlinson has already poured a half million dollars of its own money into an easy-to-use Amir roller. Steer left and right. The belts basically, they do not create cracking. Uh, if you were to drive this over sand or over a, a sheet of styrofoam, it would simply compact it, it would not crack it. The company's building a second roller. The real test will be how the road stands up to freeze and thaw cycles and lots of water. In June, Tomlinson will take the rollers to a big paving job where the Ministry of Transportation contract calls for a seven-year guarantee. For Halim, who's now preparing to retire from Carleton, the promise of commercial success has been worth the wait. A true researcher always dream of serving the public. If you are afraid of some new ideas due to ignorance, it's very difficult to succeed. And for frustrated drivers, success likely can't come quickly enough. Stu Mills, CBC News, Ottawa.